Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Journey to Become Wealthy. My name is Kelvin Marie, and today is Wednesday. We had a good green Wednesday. Not surprisingly, though, because we knew that yesterday we had levels that we had to beat in order for things to continue coming down. So it bounced, it respected those levels, bounced back to the upside, and today we're going to look at it and pretty much see if we can figure out what could potentially be next, right? Because we have two points where this thing continue to bounce off of and I mean based off the past it continue to bounce and go upwards or it continue to come down so before I get into it make sure you like subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make videos so all right all right all right so today as I said we see we got a nice red green down I'm sorry we have a nice green day look at it here and look at my line, right? The 390 line. It respected that 390 line and bounced to the upside, leaving us at, at the end of the day at 397.78. We talked about this. We talked about this, right? We talked about it could happen. Now, based on that, let's go back a little further and see when was the last time. So we're going to look at our debut and look at it. It happened again. That happened right here um, on the 5th. The 5th, January, February, March, April, May 11th. <laughs> May 11th it happened. So we, we hit this line, we bounced up to about, it looked like we got a good 407, may have gave us the idea that we were going to be uh, bullish again until we came down. We respected that line again at the 390, we respected that 390 again at like we did today, bounced up and we got hung up in, that four, in the 400s, around the 410, 412, between 410 and 415 we got hung up, only to come back down and hit our new low. So as of right now, we have not knocked out our previous low, right? This was our, this was actually our greatest low here at 364. So we could potentially still be looking for some some bullishness in the charts. However, until we see these next few days, we really cannot tell. On the big side, though, we are we have not reached a new low. So we know we had here we had a higher high, a higher low. Higher high, higher low, uh, and then we just went all the way bullish. We had a higher, another higher low. We continue up bullish, higher low, and we reached our max, new high. So we have a new high up here, and we have our still previous low, our lower low down here. We could potentially, this could just be a very strong pullback, and we could continue to go bullish. But if you all remember this, look at this piece right here. This was a gap. This was a gap which could potentially be a point where we could try and close the gap to the upside. So it looks like here we touched it in it, but we, we haven't yet pushed through it. So we could potentially, throughout this week or next week, try and push through the gap to the upside. Or we could just continue down. We could get to the top of the gap right here at 40203 and come right back down to who knows how low. So those are the things we got to watch for, right? If we hit this 402, I believe it's 402. If we hit this 401.27, I would say about that, for, between 401.27 and 402.28, if we hit between those low levels, be careful. As of right now, we're we probably going to hang out. Uh, we got to watch it. We don't know whether we're going to go up or down, but levels to be careful of are for sure that 401.27 and 402.27 between that range. On the downside, you all know if we break below this 390, we break below the 390, we are definitely coming all the way down. So I want you all to be aware of that. Now let's take a look at the markets for today. So on today, the markets are green, right? Still beautiful green. We got the Dow up 1.4%, S&P 500 up 1.83%, the NASDAQ up 2.14%, and the Russell up 2.21%. This is the first green day and I want to say about a week for many of these indexes and probably the best day for the for, since the month of August, I want to say. Since the middle of August, probably the best day since the middle of August in range of percentages. We had a lot of our companies run up, right? You all know yesterday I talked about ChargePoint running up, Tesla running up, and look at them. They did the same thing again today. ChargePoint was just $14.24 yesterday, I believe. And we close, it closed out the day at $16. So it did not hit my new buy zone, but it pumped back up. And hey, I love to see it. If you all invested in it, hopefully you made some money. A good 9%, 9 to 10%. And Tesla, the big dog, steady moving, slowly but surely up 3.38%, making you all money, making us money. Again, did not come down to my level where I would be 
adding in more, I buy on red days. So we got you all know we gotta get that mindset right, right? If you're gonna long term invest, these are for long term investment. Long term invest, you buy on red days when the prices are cheap, and you sell on green days when prices are high. You all know that, right? I'm sure we know that, especially going through this market. We know that you can't predict it. We could tomorrow could be a red day that pretty much knocks all this beautiful green out. So we got to be careful of that. Um, one thing, well, I did find this article, right? Stocks futures are little change at the Wednesday rebound rally. I want, I want to put this bug in your ear, right? Even with Wednesday's rally, stocks remain in a downtrend overall. Concerns about a slowing economy. Further rate hikes from the Fed and are pushing investors out due to riskier parts of the market. Recession risk is rising and we have been moving more defensive in our portfolios as a result. So these are the big dogs. However, high inflation means that traditional risk off strategies such as, such as cash and government bonds can create a drag on total return. Lauren Goodwin, economist. And portfolio strategist at New York Life Investment said in a note to clients. Y'all, I got tongue tied, but it's all good. So just remember that recession risk is rising and we have been moving more defensive in our portfolios as a result. So these are the big dogs. They're talking about they moving more defensive. We just talked about the treasury bonds going up, the highest they've been, right? In quite some time. That's because the big investors are trying to find a safe space for their money. They cannot afford to continue losing money, especially after the big drop. I'm sure they bought in heavy there. They caught this ride up. They took out most of their money when they got in profits. And now they're probably sitting on cash or they put it in bonds trying to be safe. But the risk of inflation, right? We got high inflation and we got stock market coming down and we got these bonds that's pretty much sitting flat. So even the bonds are not beating the inflation rate. Nobody knows what to do with their money. But I believe that no risk, no reward. Also, that's why we learn how to trade this market on options, on the downside or the upside. I know as of right now, this week has been crazy volatile. I myself can't get over a hump. Every time I make some money, I lose a little bit of money and, you know, so on and so forth, just back and forth. But I do believe that this week and next week, we're going to knock this thing out of the park and we're going to continue to make more money going forward. So that's what I have for you all this week, right? You got to be aware of those levels that I mentioned. On the low side, that 390. On the high side, that 407. So if we bust through that, as a matter of fact, let me get it right. On the high side, yeah, 401. High side, 401. Low side, 390. If we break through either of those two levels, we could definitely be looking for the market to either go heavy on the upside, go bullish again, or go bearish to the downside. The main thing is to be aware of these levels so that when they get here, you can trade with caution because that is when the market usually becomes its most volatile. We see high liquidity, which means, you know, prices going like going crazy either way. And we want to avoid that because you can lose a lot of money like that. So that's what I have for y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Share my video. Make sure you share my video. And I want to see y'all later. Thank you.